Mike Horan was born in Muskegon, Michigan, where his father worked as a supervisor in a spring factory and his mother was a retail sales associate at a local department store. After graduation from Muskegon Catholic Central High School, where Mike was a four-sport letter winner and an all-state football player, he attended Michigan Technological University on a football scholarship, graduating in 1975 with a Bachelor of Science degree in civil engineering. Mike's career started in 1976 with Ajax Paving Industries in Jackson, Michigan as an estimator and field engineer. He became an area manager in the Brighton Ann Arbor, Michigan division in 1978. In the fall of 1981, Mike was chosen to start a new company in Florida. With humble beginnings, the Florida company has grown from a few men and one asphalt plant to over 500 employees, eight high capacity asphalt plants, quarries, recycling operations, paving, grading, and concrete construction crews. Mike has been a voice for the industry in the governor's office, the state capitol, and on the fifth floor of the FDOT administrative building in Tallahassee, as well as within the walls of the state materials office for 40 years. Mike was a front runner in getting Ajax, as well as the industry, prepared for contractor quality control in the early 2000s. He always made himself available to other contractors to assist and answer questions they may have about the subject. We recall an FDOT quarterly district construction meeting in Fort Myers in 2003, when then FDOT Director of Construction Prasad told the group of contractors that he was tired of listening to complaints about contractor quality control and the new SuperPave specifications. He suggested that the contractors go spend a day with Ajax Paving if they wanted to figure it out. He was able to make that statement because Mike began preparing by training and hiring people to meet the future contractor quality control requirements before the state implemented the new specifications. Mike has been an avid supporter of the FTBA and the ACAF. When FDOT specification changes were evolving in the early to mid 2000s, Mike made it a requirement that senior management at Ajax attend these meetings and support the industry in their goals. Most importantly, he was a leader in promoting the partnering program with FDOT and insisted all Ajax projects will be partnered with the owners. Due to Mike's strong leadership and professional staff, Ajax is proud to have received numerous project awards, plant awards, and safety awards throughout the many years. Ajax has won well over 75 road paving awards from the FDBA, ACAF, and NAPA including such prestigious awards as the AP Bolton Award, Larry H. Lemon Award, and the 2010 Sheldon G. Hayes Award finalist. The company has won many FTBA Best in Construction Awards, most notably in 2007, the largest project ever in Florida at the time called IROX. 32 miles of six lane widening and the reconstruction of 28 bridges on I-75 in Collier and Lee counties with partner, the Anderson Columbia Company. The high reputation of the company is well known and recently was the contractor of choice to reconstruct the Sanibel and Pine Island access routes damaged during Hurricane Ian. Mike established an Ajax annual charity golf tournament in 2002 and for 23 years has been able to donate the proceeds to the FTBA, ACAF and SUCA scholarship funds and many worthy organizations and charities. Under Mike's leadership, Ajax Paving has donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Florida charities and programs focused on community service. Ajax also supports youth sports, local food pantries, Habitat for Humanity, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and multiple organizations that provide care for foster children and displaced families. Mike's employees volunteer thousands of hours each year with his permission to provide manual labor support to many of these same organizations. He is a past chairman of the Florida Transportation Builders Association and a past president of the Asphalt Contractors Association of Florida and was awarded the 2019 prestigious Soapbox Award from FTBA. He was on the first Henry Fuller task team which developed the current claim specifications in use today. Under his leadership as chairman of FTBA, he started the scholarship program and recently his highway worker memorial at various locations around the state to bring awareness to work zone safety only adds to his legacy. Mike is committed to promoting the road building industry to the young people of Florida. Ajax hosts plant tours for local high schools and universities and developed a patch program for Girl Scouts called Rocks to Roads. Ajax participates in county and city construction days, donating time and material to help keep construction a viable opportunity for young folks.
Mike is currently the owner and CEO of Ajax Paving Industries of Florida, headquartered in Venice, Florida. Mike says that his loving wife of 49 years, Carol, is his most influential person that has kept him grounded while raising their four children and grandchildren all these years. He attributes his company's success to the good people that have worked for him all these years. He says, I can never thank them enough. I am so fortunate to have been associated with such fine people. Congratulations to Mike Horan, inductee into the FTBA Hall of Fame.